Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for Android App Arena is provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is Android App Arena, episode 22 for Wednesday, November 19th, 2014. Photo editors. This episode is brought to you by SmartThings. SmartThings lets you control and monitor your home from anywhere in the world using your smartphone. To get started, visit smartthings.com slash twit and you'll save 10% off any home security or solution kit when you use the code twit10 at checkout. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Android App Arena. I'm your host, Jason Howell. This week, I wanted to take a closer look at a category of apps that is flooded, absolutely flooded with options in the Play Store. We all take pictures with our mobile devices, and from there, you know, what do you do? Do you just tweet out that picture, email it to a friend, uh, just let them stack up in your camera roll and do absolutely nothing? I, for one, let Google Plus automatically back them all up to the cloud, and then I pick and choose from there. And Google Plus also uh, sometimes sprinkles its auto awesome magic all over those pictures and makes them look better with their own kind of brand of post-processing. That can be absolutely magical when it works out. And most of the time it does. Some people like to have total control over those pictures. That's what this week's episode is all about. I've scoured the Play Store and picked three great photo editing apps that all bring something unique to the table. So let's take a look at some great photo editing apps in this week's Best of the Best. All right, today's first app is another one of those great apps that Google snapped up for themselves. And even though it hasn't seen a significant update in a while, it's still as strong a photo editor as any on Android at the moment. Snapseed is an incredibly powerful and feature-rich photo editor, and its style of control is unique, but at the same time, totally intuitive once you use the app for about 10 minutes or so. All adjustments are made by tapping and holding inside the image and either moving along the vertical or horizontal plane. Vertical plane movement switches between the effect that is being tweaked and horizontal plane movement makes the actual adjustment to that effect. It's much more satisfying than simply scanning for an effect in an endless list and tapping a plus icon to boost levels. It literally brings you into the image and makes the act of photo editing a more interactive experience. There's a nice readout at the bottom of the image that tells you just how much or how little of that effect you're editing into the image. Now, from the main screen, you can see a long list of small thumbnails that each perform a different set of tasks. For example, tapping on vintage brings me into the image and my vertical and horizontal planes offer up a number of related tweaks that can be done to achieve the most out of that effect, including brightness, saturation, texture, center size for the vignette effect, and strength of the overall effect. And that's just one of those effects. There are a number of highly controllable and powerful effects in tow. Tilt shift, for example, for making everything look like an impressive antique model set. There's center focus for bringing controllable blur into the image. Drama for amping everything up just a little bit. And one of my favorites, HDR Scape that tackles high dynamic range processing in a more artificial but engaging way than some other HDR effects I've seen. Things just look gritty, but in a good way, very dramatic. There's also the standard controls for things like crop, color correction, saturation, and much more. And if you've gone too far down the rabbit hole, you can keep yourself in check with this compare button that allows you to switch quickly between where you started and where you are now with your current crop of effects. Snapseed might not get a lot of update love these days, but it's still incredibly powerful and fun to use. Find Snapseed for free in the Play Store. Next up is an app that hit Android a few months back after enjoying great success on iOS for some time. The app is called VSCO Cam. VSCO stands for Visual Supply Company, if you're curious. VSCO Cam takes an overly minimal approach to photo editing, almost 
to a fault at times, in my opinion. So give yourself some time to get acquainted with it at first. Along the bottom of the image that you've selected to edit, a number of tiny thumbnails with non-descriptive ID tags lines up. Thankfully, the thumbnails give you a sense as to the approximate effect that each filter will give controls for. You tap into one and the image changes. Tap that same thumbnail again and you'll get a slider that will allow you to dial in more or less of that particular filter. If that's not enough control, you need to tap the white bar at the bottom and then the settings wrench. Now you're given a ton of other editing tools. Just tap the one that you want to tweak and the bottom bar turns into one large control that can be dragged and ultimately accepted when you like what you see. The preview doesn't update while you slide, so you have to let go in order for VSCO to process the preview, which is a bit of a drag, especially after the real-time approach that we saw in Snapseed. The effects that ship with the software are powerful in and of themselves, but VSCO also offers a number of other effects and filters in the store, ranging in price from free to $6.99 for a limited edition collection of effects sampled from many collections offered inside the app. You're given some nice previews of each effect to make an informed decision, thankfully, but it can get kind of pricey pretty quickly. VSCO Cam also includes a social element called Grid. If you have a VSCO account, you can select to send your chosen masterpieces to the grid for other users of the service to love just as much as you do, hopefully. You can also follow users that speak to you so you'll never miss one of their own creations. And finally, there's an integrated camera mode for those of you who want to keep all their image taking inside the app. You can even set it up so VSCO launches into camera mode if you prefer. VSCO is free in the Play Store with the option to purchase effect collections inside the app. And finally, there's the jam-packed suite of photo editing tools that can be found inside Pixlr Express by Autodesk, which, in my experience, always creates well-designed and thoughtful apps. I love Autodesk. Pixlr is expansive in its approach, to say the least. Let's tap this Fresh button, which takes you to the latest picture in your camera roll for quick editing. That's a nice feature. The basic edit page looks rather dull, with a number of image categories at the bottom. You tap into them, and a bunch more options suddenly appear. Adjustment, for example, gives you a wealth of your standard edit functions like blur, sharpen, rotate, color, along with more playful options like doodle for drawing on top of the image, there's splash for selective color exclusion, there's focal for setting a focal point of the image and blurring the surrounding areas in varying degrees. It's the other image categories that take Pixlr to another level. Cosmic, for example, gives a number of geometric patterns and overlays that play with the color spectrum in interesting ways. Obviously not good for all kinds of image subjects, but playing around with the intensity of them can yield some pretty cool results. Effect brings a ton of subcategories that each contain a number of presets, things like creative, that give you a ton of colorful and artistic layouts that transform your image into an Andy Warhol type experiment. There's soft, subtle, too old, unicolor. Each one of these contains a number of variations on the theme, which gives you plenty to choose from. There are a bunch of overlays, and you'll notice the arrow inside each preset. Tapping this arrow downloads that preset to your device permanently. I imagine they took this approach to allow you to pick and choose the effects that interest you and keep the original download from the Play Store smaller than if they had included everything at once. It keeps the file size down. Borders, text input along with a number of fancy fonts that you can download through the app, and stickers for those of you who like stickers. Once it's locked in, you can save to gallery and share from there, but that's not all. Pixlr Express also has a collage option with a ton of collage presets, making it easy to take your best pics and format them into one single image. You can tweak the spacing between the images, you can round the edges, tweak the proportions. It's really impressive, actually, the control you have over every aspect of your images inside Pixlr Express. Check out Pixlr Express for yourself, again, for free in the Play Store. Now, this is the best of the best, and at this point, I would normally anoint one of these three apps with the crown, but this week is a little different. Let's just say that the app in Hot to Trot also qualifies for consideration in this competition. So you're gonna have to wait for that reveal. But before we move on, 
let's take some time to thank the sponsor of today's episode. This episode is brought to you by SmartThings. SmartThings, super cool, lets you control and monitor your home from anywhere in the world using your smartphone. We have all of these kind of modules that you can use to facilitate that. And uh, they do some really cool things. Motion detector here, a multi-sensor for detecting different types of things. Uh, there's a presence sensor here. You can do a lot of cool stuff with this. Here's, here's a few of those things here. You can get notifications if someone you don't know is trying to enter your home. You can get instant alerts to prevent a small leak from causing a major flood. Uh, you can control and automate your lights and small appliances from wherever you are. Stay connected to your family by getting notifications when people come and go. That's what this presence uh, sensor is all about. Protect valuable items and secure items, uh, secure areas that are off limits. With SmartThings app, you can easily see what's happening in every room and with all of your connected devices. It's like having your home in the palm of your hand. The SmartThings app is free. It's available for iOS, Android, and Windows Phone. The really great thing about SmartThings is that the possibilities are literally endless. You can figure out how you want to piece these all together and use them in interesting ways that work for your situation. SmartThings family of smart sensors and outlets work with hundreds of popular connected devices, including offerings from Logitech, Dropcam, Nest, Sonos, and even the Philips Hue light bulb series. If you're a developer, you can also create new ways to use SmartThings and then publish them for everyone to use. So to get started creating your smart home, visit smartthings.com slash twit. You'll save 10% off any home security or solution kit by entering the code twit10 at checkout. And for fans of twit, solution kits start at just $170 and home security kits start at $350. Each kit includes a smart things hub with everything you'll need to turn your home into a smart home in as little as 15 minutes. You also get free shipping within the U.S. So that's smartthings.com slash twit. And remember to enter the code twit10 at checkout. And we thank SmartThings for their continued support of the Twit Network and Android App Arena. All right, so I teased it earlier. This week's Hot to Trot definitely falls in line with the theme of this episode. So let's dive right in and look at one more option. And this time, I might even save you $200. You heard me right. Check out this week's Hot to Trot. Today, the hottest app also happens to fit the theme of the episode, and it's the kind of thing where you need to act fast to get full value of this pick. The app is called Photo Editor by Aviary. It's a product of Adobe. Aviary was recently snapped up by Adobe, and the app just received its first update since that acquisition. Timed with the update, Adobe is actually offering $200 worth of effects completely free. This is a limited time offer. Let's take a look at what a $200 value looks like inside Aviary. First, you'll want to sign up for your free Adobe Creative Cloud account if you don't already have one, and then sign into that account inside Aviary. And now, hurry into the shop and download all the effects, all the frames, stickers, and overlays that you can. They'll be added to your account for free. And they're yours even after this offer expires on November 30th, 2014, at which time all $200 worth of in-app downloads will once again require hard-earned cash money. See? I just saved you $200. Now, the question is, how are these pricey effects in use? Well, first, the app itself follows Google's material design approach, which is awesome. Let's tap into a picture, and yet again, that familiar tools at the bottom approach is in full use here. Let's tap into effects, and you'll see all of those effect bundles that you just added. I'll start scrolling just to give you a sense of just how many effects you can now use inside Aviary. It's a bit overwhelming, but incredibly powerful, obviously. Find one you like, Tap it to load into the full screen preview, then drag up and down anywhere inside the image to increase or decrease the desired effect. With so many presets, I do wish I could collapse the effect collections because scrolling endlessly with this many options can be a little bit of a pain, but the broad spectrum is impressive to say the least. And that goes for frames, stickers, and overlays as well. And there's your typical selection of editing tools making this about as fully featured a photo editing app as there is on Android at the moment. There's even controls for red eye reduction, blemish removal, 
and meme creation. Adobe and Aviary thought of everything here and present it in a way that makes a lot of sense in prolonged use. And can you really turn your nose up at $200 worth of free goodies? Again, for a limited time. So get Aviary right now and grab those freebies before November runs out. That's Photo Editor by Aviary for free in the Play Store. Okay, so this week we obviously have four photo editing apps up for the best of the best crown. Is the best photo editing app from this episode Snapseed, VSCO Cam, Pixlr Express, or Photo Editor by Aviary? Well, if I had to pick just one to keep stashed on my device for photo editing magic, of these four, I'd choose Pixlr Express. Personally, Pixlr has a wealth of editing options that you know, doesn't overwhelm, the, uh, overwhelm you with the selection. And there's a ton there, but kind of makes it easy to navigate. It's powerful, includes some nice bonuses like that collage functionality. Uh, but again, because I know I say this every time, we have a best of the best. It's hard to fault any of these apps. They're all incredibly powerful, and in some cases, an incredible value. So it's in your hands to choose the one you like best. I want to thank y'all for watching the show. Uh, I love hearing from you as always, particularly if I've missed an obvious pick for these categories. So please send your favorite apps, new categories, whatever you got to arena at twit.tv. There's a subreddit also at androidapparena.reddit.com that's used to share and kind of generate new ideas and categories for the show. And you can take part there. Uh, that's androidapparena.reddit.com. You can follow me on Google Plus for, you know, just my random app picks throughout the course of the week, recommendations. I also host a live viewing party of each week's episode every Wednesday at 4.30 p.m. Pacific following Tech News Tonight. And I sit on set to answer any questions you might have about the apps in the show, really the Android platform in general. That all happens in real time at live.twit.tv. And of course, if you miss the live taping, you can always catch each week's episode as they appear later in the evening on the site and in the feeds. That site, the page you want to go to is twit.tv slash arena. Easy to remember. All right, that's it, folks. Thank you so much for joining me once again. My name is Jason Howell, and I will see you next week in the arena.